What do you wish you would have known 20 years ago? <laughs> what do I wish I would have known 20 years ago? Actually, what I wish I would have known 20 years ago uh, was to not do it a little bit at a time. Uh, I was reading in the Permaculture Designer's Manual that, oh, you do the rolling permaculture. You, know, you do a little bit this year, then a little bit next year, then a little bit next year, and a little bit next year, and it's never too much for you to handle until all of a sudden you have a larger system in place. What it that wasn't really based in reality because Bill Mollison didn't do it that way. He had a small piece of property when he set up his systems. Uh, the establishment phase is the most challenging. You've got to take care of your plants at least a little bit in the early years, say three years or so, before they're established, and then and then they're pretty much doing all right on their own. Well, if you do a little bit this year, you're in establishment phase. Well, then the next year, you're planting and establishment. Then the third year, planting, establishment, establishment. Fourth year, planting, establishment, establishing first harvests. But the first harvests, there may be a hundred plants and you get like two or three berries or a handful of nuts. It's not enough volume of product to justify the time to go out and do it. You spend three hours to get a cup and a half of hazelnuts. It's not worth your time. Whereas 20 years ago, if uh, I had known about this, I would have done as much as I possibly could right up front, put it all in the ground because then I get three years worth of maintenance out of the way and then it's there, it's gonna survive. And then when I started to harvest, I'd actually have enough harvestable product to justify the expense of harvesting it and the equipment to, um, to store it, handle it, and process it. 